Isn't this hover effect super cool? I may just look at it. You know where I got the inspiration from? So there's this Pixcap uh, website that I came across. It's a really cool one. You can like, you know, uh, find a lot of 3D stuff in here. And here's where I saw this cool uh, card hover effect, which by the way, it's very common these days. You can get to see it in a lot of places. Uh, but I luckily found a code on Framer University and a proper tutorial. And I that inspired me to create my own. And uh, yeah, so here I was just exploring this website. You can find a few icons here. Let's just browse some 3D icons. You can do that or you can just uh, go ahead and type something which you want. So in my case, I wanted to get a smiley so there are a bunch of smiley uh, that you can smiley emojis that you can scroll through so let's just start with the starstruck one here you can look into the 2d view or the 3d view depends on you and when you use your cursor you can also like pan and see the entire 3d view so that's the idea but uh, for this one i'm going to download the 2, uh, 2d view you have an option to get a super download where it is, you know, the quality you can see is much better. But for this tutorial, I'm going to get the standard one only. And you can just download it. And now I have a screen here and uh, the emoji. So in the screen, I just have like a purple background and I put some text on top of it. And I'm going to create that hover effect with this emoji right here. So what we'll be doing is we will be, uh, let's just select this. And I'm going to write the... Uh, text here let's just write starstruck underneath and let's just give it a white color <clears throat> and i'm going to ensure it's uh poppins i like poppins and uh i'm going to make it slightly bigger in size so it's visible and i'm going to make it bold semi bold let's just select this and make it a stack uh, i'm going to get rid of the fill don't need the fill down so um let's just zoom into it uh we will change the width of the icon to fixed because when i want when i change the stack i don't want the icon to be changing with the size of the stack here i'm going to change the width here to 300 and the height to 300 as well this will give me a nice square and change the position here to absolute so i can move it according to me and the text has gone behind because it's still set to relative so i'm going to select the stack and go to distribute and change this to end. Um, I'm going to give some padding here, maybe 16 from bottom. And uh, this looks good enough. I'm going to select the stack now. And let's just give it a nice radius, probably 32. And like a fill, I'm going to give it a purple fill on a purple background. It'll look cool, I think. We can also like put it on top of it and see which color you like. Um, just to get a better idea. Mm, let's just adjust it slightly. Mm, okay, this looks okay, I think. And uh, let's just add some border. So I'm going to go with a wide border. And I'm going to give it a very less opacity, 10%. And some shadow, realistic shadow. Slightly lighter, maybe some shades of purple. And uh, adjusting it according to my preference you can do it as per your as per your preference and uh, yeah okay so this is good enough the card is ready now we have to create the light because when we are when, when if you saw the hover effect carefully there was this light moving with the cursor so to do that i'm going to create a frame here put this inside the stack and i'm going to make it absolute and set it to center this is very important if you don't do this it won't really work so we're putting that frame in the, inside the stack. I'm going to resize it properly so it covers the entire area. And now I can just manually adjust it slightly. And now let's just put this, uh, these corners in and set the radius to um, all the way up to 1000 maybe. Because I want a big circle here. Um, and I'm going to give it a radial gradient. So uh, the outside is uh, set to zero opacity. And I'm going to send the inside to something... Uh, like a lighter shade of uh, purple and to make it even more smooth i'm going to add some blur effect here let's just make it 15 so it blends properly so yeah this looks good the card is ready um <clears throat> so here 
I'm going to change the name on this frame to light because this is light and uh, I am also going to reduce the opacity here because in default state we don't need the light. This is going to come when we hover over uh, on it and I'm going to rename it to card and create a component. So that is done. Um, let's just create a hover state here by pressing here and uh, light here will be full opacity. I'm going to change that and now when you see when you hover over it, you will be able to see the light. It looks pretty cool at this but what if it moves with the cursor? It will be even cooler, right? That's what we'll do now. So we'll select the variant one and I'm going to go to code override and go to new file. Here we'll write a new override and call it light. We can create here. Uh, there'll be a pre-filled code which I'm going to get rid of because we don't need this. And this is the code which we're going to take. This is from Framer University, the code that I was talking about. We're going to copy the code from here and paste it as it is and command S to save it. Um, that's it. After that, we're going to uh, go back here. Now I'm going to go to uh, the layers tab here and let's select light and we go all the way down here, press uh, code override. And here I'm going to get the option of light here now. And override I'm going to select and that will be with cursor follow. So that is how it will be. And now when we play it, we'll see that the light is visible but still not following the cursor. And that is happening because we have uh, one thing to change here. What we'll have to do here is we'll have to um, go all the way down to accessibility, add a tag and uh, call it button because that is when it sort of works properly. But if you see when I'm hovering over the text, it starts acting weird, the light. So we'll have to change another setting here. So we'll go to text and go to um, on the way to style and go to pointer and then change that to null. So once you do that, you'll see that this is working fine, but the light is still overlapping, like it's coming on top of the text, which I don't like. You can fix that easily by getting um, rid of the Z uh, index here and the light frame. So now you'll see how beautifully your light works. It follows your cursor and, uh, and you can just adjust the opacity here. I don't like it's uh, kind of too bright. So I'm going to reduce the opacity slightly till I like it. So yeah, this looks slightly better. So once that is done, I am good to go and move back to my home page. And here I'm going to now add the tilting card effect. So uh, for that, I'm going to select the card here and I'm going to go to code override again. So I'm going to create a new file and call it um, hover. Uh, actually, it's 3D hover. Or I won't get an option to create because it doesn't accept numbers. So I'm going to change this to 3D hover, create. And I'm going to get rid of the pre-existing code again because we don't need this. We copy the code again from uh, Framer University's code overwrite for 3D Hover. Copy it and paste it as it is here and press command S to save it. Once that is done, we go back to home and simply put the code uh, file here with 3D uh, as the override and I'm going to uh, play this now and you'll see how beautifully this sort of works. It's super simple and it's really um, very fun to uh, look at such hover effects. You can also uh, add some background effect by copying particles from Framer Supply and uh, pasting it here in your uh, artboard. I'm going to send this to back. There's a full uh, tutorial on how to use these particles from Framer Supply. You'll find it on Price Design Studios channel. And uh, let's just adjust these settings here. I'm going to change the color. Uh, the size is going to be somewhat similar. Let's just change the amount here. And uh, I'm going to change the opacity. I'm going to set a range here. And of course, the movement. I want it to be random. And uh, Instead of our, let's do this, uh, buns. Pressure setting seems okay here. Um, so yeah, I think this is more or less done. We just get rid of the hover thingy. And uh, isn't this super cool? You can add more uh, cards to this. Use this in so many other places for a button also. 
there are multiple use cases really. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you next time. Thank you.